Morning, folks. I hope you had a great weekend. It is Monday, August 6th, and I'm going to do a real quick re uh, weekly recap here <clears throat> and review for this upcoming week's week of trading. And uh, I'm just going to keep this real short here today. Interesting sort of week coming up. I'm actually heading out on holidays. I'm leaving on uh, Wednesday morning. And I'll be gone for a, a week and a half or so. Uh, I will still keep up on my videos. I'll do some market analysis. I will do a couple of live sessions. Uh, Dave, of course, uh, he, uh, he'll be around and he'll be doing his typical uh, Wednesday and Friday uh, morning New York open sessions uh, trading S&P and gold. And uh, my schedule might be a little bit um, um, around the place just because I'm not going to keep into much of a schedule as I'm going. But I definitely have uh, and will be doing some market analysis and have... Uh, uh, want to get a few videos out and, and things like that to some ideas that I've been working on so it might give me a chance to kind of work on things there while I'm uh, uh, getting a little bit of downtime there so I'll keep you apprised as how that is going to pan out I'm going to discuss the US dollar here real quick uh, as you can see still in the consolidation uh, not much has changed there haven't broken out of this range as of yet uh, however, last week and into the start of this week here we started to really make a, a decent push um, up into uh, taking out this old high from a couple of weeks back. So we'll see what kind of continued momentum that has um, going forward. And one second, guys, I got my emails are dinging in here. I'm just going to close my application. Um, so we're going to look for probably these highs here to get taken out. Now, once it does take out that high uh, from last uh, a couple of weeks ago here, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not necessarily thinking that we're going to see a huge continuation. The first, I'll be and I don't think we're going to see it until um, the end of summer. But uh, the first area is is taking out these highs here. Let me take off a couple of these lines on the chart here. Um, this area in here is going to be the first target on the upside. Again, I don't necessarily think we'll probably see a run up into 95. Uh, and I'm put it at 95.80, make it a nice even round number. We'll probably get a run up into here. Um, very soon. If we don't see it this week, we'll, we'll see this very soon. You can see the U.S. dollar is just starting to press higher. And th this could be the final leg where it, it finally pops out and, and we get some serious movement forward and we finally break out of this range here. Uh, or not. Uh, we could just see one quick um, final wick above here and, and we could see price start to fall off. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see how that is. But I would imagine what is going to end up happening is um, Monday, Tuesday, potentially Wednesday could be making the high of the week. And so far, I mean, we're at 95, uh, what was the high on today? 95.20, I believe. Uh, sorry, 95.30 uh, was the high of the week, so uh, the high of the day today so far. Um, it's not a real big stretch to get up to that uh, 95.80 level that I had marked there on the weekly. So one good push into uh, the Asian session um, going into Monday night and then early London open Tuesday trading. Uh, we could see that, that run up into there. That may cap the high of the week. I'm going to be watching that, um, but uh, I don't necessarily think... Whoops, sorry guys, let me just pan this out a little bit better. I, I don't think that this is going to be the high of the week here uh, for a couple of reasons. I, I believe that uh, we're going to see further continuation going into London. Uh, this is just a slight retrace um, going into uh, a sort of mid-Monday uh, New York open trading. Uh, chances are we're probably going to maintain this trend line going forward. We may see a little bit deeper of a retrace, um, but if it does come back, I would expect it to only take out these lows here and potentially trade the boat down to here, where I will probably see price base. If we lose this low here uh, on Monday... Uh, then the next level that my eye is going to go down to is just to take out these lows uh, right under here, and, uh, and 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 we could potentially see price base there, create some support, and, and run back up. But I don't think we're going to get all the way back down to uh, 94, uh, 55 or anything like that. I think more than likely we're probably going to stay up in this range here, and we're going to make that uh, next push. Uh, up into uh, the weekly high, up into the 95.80 range. And then from there, we'll see what happens. We could start to fall off. Uh, you know, price could uh, continue. You know, we'll just kind of have to wait and see uh, 
if price doesn't get through 95.55, then that's that's sorry. I'm just gonna actually put this on the chart here just because it kind of caught my eye. 95.55, that level right there, uh, just sort of the middle of this consolidation range, that could offer a little bit of uh, resistance on the upside as well too. So 95.55, 95.80, I'm, I'm going to watch those two levels to see if we see any resistance on that. Uh, but more than likely, I'm going to be looking for that into Tuesday's London Open. And if that's the case, then we should be hitting some lows on the euro. Now you can see here, last week's sell-off on the euro, uh, we came in, took out some uh, old intern lows over here. And uh, we still got a couple of lows sitting uh, down below the market here as well too. But you can see price sold off nicely. Uh, so far, we've seen it reject a little bit on, this is Monday's candle. Uh, price came in and created a low of uh, 115.30 uh, for all intents and purposes. And we've uh, retraced back off of that now about 35 pips. So uh, again, same type of idea. More than likely, we'll probably come in. It's just probably coming in here to clean up some of the levels above this small consolidation area here. You can see the push up taking out all the stops above the market here. Um, I would not expect price to run up any higher then right about this area here, which would come in at about uh, 115, call it 115.90 on the high side. Um, I don't think we'll see a price run higher. If we start running through these highs up into here, um, then the next level of uh, area that it, it'll tag up is, is right up into here, uh, which would be 116.45, uh, 116.40 uh, to 116.45, somewhere in and around there, uh, could be on tap if, again, this is a big if, um, I'll put it at 85 for now on the low side, but uh, if these highs here get ran out, then they're more than likely going to want to take out the highs from this consolidation range. Like they had the chance to do it here on Friday, they wicked up and then ran off. Um, so if these highs get taken out, then I think they're just going to steamroll right through back through this consolidation area. And then they're probably going to want to tag up into these levels. Now, going on later on into the week, that could definitely be a, um, a target that gets hit, but I, I kind of like this idea where prices has come down, uh, created a, an interim low for Monday. Um, we'll probably trade back up here, get some strength into uh, the Asian session, into early London, and then I think we'll probably start to make that roll over and, and, and drop into a daily low. And I believe on, I'm just going to zoom in here real quick, and I'm going to try to get rid of some of this stuff on the chart here so I can just clean this up just real quick. Um, and I will drop a horizontal line. <clears throat> you see how price came down today uh, on this low here at 115.30. Failed to take this day's low out right here. Uh, and I'll get an exact level on this one here if I can. You can probably see that in the bottom right hand corner in the status bar. Low comes in at 115.26. Um, I believe that low will easily get taken, and if they see any momentum past that, then this is going to be the next low here at, um, again, I can't get that price, oh, there we go, at uh, 115.07. So I think the 115s uh, big figure will probably get hit um, coming into this week. Potentially, I mean, it's not too far away. It's only 60 pips away, uh, so a very, very easy target uh, for the week. Uh, but what I'd be looking at is is some form of, again, Right, I mean, we're, we're trading in the consolidation range, so we're starting to get on this overstretched area of this consolidation range. Um, this typically means the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, you know, ten times that we've down in this range, price has rebounded off of here. So I'm not going to expect anything different as of yet. Now, a little bit of a catalyst the um, Eurozone, they had uh, increased their um, lending rates by 25 basis points by a quarter point. <laughs> So um, it could, 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 could uh, offer uh, a little bit of momentum shift on the euro. Uh, however, before they do anything major, they're going to want us to take out some stops and run some areas. So <clears throat> we could see this reject a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of thinking we'll probably see price run down in here. We'll take out these lows for sure. Uh, and then from there, we just have to kind of see what sort of... Uh, uh, news is on tap for the week, which I didn't get through, but I will uh, do that on my uh, New York, or sorry, my London Open trading session uh, going into Tuesday morning. So we'll watch for that. So um, that's the uh, US dollar, the Euro USD, and real quick, 
pound dollar obviously you can see here making new lows uh, taking out this old previous in term um, swing low right here and uh, it's got nothing but downside on it I believe now we've significantly taken out these lows from here obviously the next level of uh, area that I'm looking at um, on the downside and here let me just do this and I'll drop a level right on the bottom portion there now you can kind of see right here there's a little bit of thin price action in here I believe that there uh, let me and I'm gonna actually put another line and I'm gonna borrow one of these thinner ones up here and I'm gonna drop it right here you see the the highs of these this little consolidation and area right in here there's um they spent one two three four days in here and they kind of uh, chopped price sideways for a little bit um that i believe is going to be the target on the downside so that's that comes in at 128.30 i will call it 128.35 and just try to make life easier for everybody 128.35 so uh, we're currently trading at 129.44 that's a nice 100 pip range again i believe if we do get a nice runner uh, going into London Open, we could see that range um, hit very, very easily. So that's kind of what I'm going to be watching for on the downside. Um, and again, that's just all based on uh, the U.S. dollar continuing to push up and and potentially running out this high. I, I don't think they're going to run this, run it all the way up to here and fail to sweep this high here. I think they will push a little bit higher. And then we could get the uh, corresponding drop in the euro and potentially a drop in euro USD. So that's what I think is coming on tap for the week for those two major pairs. Lastly, I'm just going to discuss oil quickly here. Uh, I was actually watching this trade uh, all morning and since uh, Sunday open. Um, price came in here, consolidated a little bit, had a nice pop up. And I was as price was dropping into here, I was thinking, well, I want to see sort of what happens in here um, to see if they want to run some lows. Because I did have a level uh, just below these lows here. Uh, that I wanted to see uh, if they wanted to do a bit of a stop run down in here. They didn't do it. They popped it up, came back down, retagged off of this old consolidation, and exploded higher. And then I watched it again as price ex uh, had this big expansion candle right here. It started to uh, trade softer, softer, softer. And you can see here they left these two equal highs. Obviously, plain sight. Um, they came and slammed back into here one more time and uh and you can see how it catapulted off of there so um very very easy setup today actually if you guys were watching the crude oil market um you should have hopefully got on that one but going forward so this range in here from last week i was discussing um right in here 79 percent retracement level boom tagged to it perfectly and had extended past and beyond it now going forward i think the you uh, uh crude oil price i think we're going to see some higher prices I like this $72 mark, and I actually, um, if you're uh, any, in part of our chat room, I posted a chart on there of a couple of levels that I think we could get tagged going forward into, uh, into the remainder of this week. Uh, one being the 72 level, of course, and then this old high right in here coming in at um, 70.40, basically. Uh, I'd like to see a run above uh, that, so... Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at here uh, on tap for the week. I think that uh, crude oil definitely has some momentum. And we could, if we see some bullish movement, real, real strong bullish momentum on crude oil, um, we could even trade up into the uh, 73s um, without question. So what I'm going to be looking for is a setup to happen going into Tuesday. Uh, I like this momentum in here. I want to see some of this give back, but I don't want to see price uh, come back any deeper then 69.20, I believe that should be um, kind of a line in the sand. If we get a retracement that starts tagging and going lower than 69.20 on crude oil, uh, then there is a possibility that they may want to come back down for these lows here. And potentially, and this is what I was wondering about last week on this run down here, how low they were going to get, because um, there was an area that I, I had identified under price in here at about the 67.35 uh, level where i felt that they could run price back down to uh, but you can see they rejected and and a nice strong bullish momentum uh, movement higher so that's what i'm going to be looking for continuing going on into the week and uh and we'll see how that goes some nice equal highs right in here as well too guys uh, they're going to be running those here probably today uh maybe they'll leave that for tomorrow you can see there one two three nice perfect equal highs uh that's going to be the target 
Uh, but we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> Some nice bullish momentum. Um, I'd like to see price, like I said, just kind of come back, stabilize a little bit uh, right around this level, right in here. You know, even the 6940, 69.30... 6930 to 6940. I'll be watching that area. Let's put it that way. Uh, if I see price coming back down into there, uh, I'm going to be potentially looking and, and seeing it, it price stalling in that area. I'm going to be looking for, to get onto some longs there. But I'm going to watch it. And um, as I see it, I will update you guys. So that's everything for today for the, the weekly review. And I hope you guys have a great week of trading. Again, I'll be doing a couple of live sessions. Uh, Thursday might be a little bit uh, skewed. Uh, but I'll let you know uh, via either Twitter or uh, on our uh, in our chat room as to uh, when I can get on. But of course, Dave will be back and doing his regular sessions Wednesday and on Friday at uh, 7.30 a.m. New York time. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 9.30 a.m. New York time for Equities Open. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great week of trading, and we'll catch up to you a little later.